So for good measure, I figure I'll explain what I do at Sire. So uh, I pot up before the kill and I stamina. Uh, I turn on my prayers, Shadow Barrage. You have to attack the Sire once in order to trigger it so the second Shadow Barrage will knock it out. Yes, that is correct. Women are equal and deserve respect. Then you run over, kill two respiratory systems. If you hit really well, you can get three, but it doesn't really make a difference. Um, with 10 seconds left, yeah, I'm not even going to bother trying to get that one. After the 30 second timer, the Sire will reawaken, knock him back out, and finish off the respiratory system. Do a simple small three way switch, I don't bother with the cape switch. Blowpipe, chest plate for some accuracy, and then anguish because it does extra damage. Here we're looking for the melee phase. Phase 2 at Sire, you have to hit it down to 200 HP. Drink the anti venom. Um, so it's got a couple of standard attacks. It's got its standard melee that we're praying against. There's the back whip that it'll do. It'll spawn an offspring, and it will create a very painful poison pool under you. That was the whip attack. If you sit on the poison pool, it can very quickly kill you. Every tick or two ticks, I believe it's two ticks, you'll get hit between 10 and 20 damage. Once the Sire gets down to under 200 HP, I drink a dose of Prayer Potion and grab my Crystal Halberd to try to speed through this phase. And I run back and forth between the Sire, generally where my two marked tiles are. At this point, the Sire will teleport you. Run south. If you're beside the Sire when it explodes, you will take between 60 and 75 damage. I run down and do one blood barrage off my Master Wand just to get my HP above 70 and then repeat as before. And you're just running back and forth so that way you don't get clumped up. Doing it this way, I use almost no supplies, but it is a bit riskier. And just like that, we have 25 quorum. What am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself here. Don't be that stupid sire glitch. There's a glitch where if you... I think there's like a two tick window where if you cast Shadow Barrage again, it fail. You'll hit it, but it'll fail to stun him. Starting a Bandos trip, got quite a few of my friends here while eating on one more. I'm playing the tank as I'm on a 60 attack account, and that's the penalty for not being able to melee. Enough talk, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Okay, ready? Go. That was just bad luck. Pipe him down range. Not much.
It was ping and roaming. Lol. Nope. I'm here. Where the fuck are you guys? Actually, you guys were really quick. You can talk about anything. My grandmother dropped the soft squishy turtle. 14 seconds. <laughs> Okay, I'm good with that being the last one. I may or may not have been trying to snipe this one. <laughs> last time Jacob got it when I did that. Like I said, I just want the one KC. And KC number one, a tuna potato, means no worries for the rest of our feast. It's a problem free delicacy. It's a tuna potato, a tuna potato. Yeah, 30 of them. I've brought four ruby specs so far. Yeah. I think this might be mine. Uh, I'm pretty sure that says it's mine. 20 rune I door. After four or five days, our long journey is finally coming to a close. As I grind up this last little bit of dense essence and accumulate even more blood runes, which I will use for barraging Slayer tasks, right here we have now finally hit 86 rune crafting. A level that is so good feels so nice, it's probably only comparable to 99 and 77 rune crafting. The start of Bloods and the end of the skill. With that, we can now go complete the Karamja Elite Diary. Let's go do it. Let's go get them Dura Daddy Clappers. <sighs> I am so overjoyed. Here I am going for the 85 or 86 plus 5 rune crafting boost. So the plan that I've got is a full inventory of rune essence right at the nature altar. So I'm going to see if I can get myself dead. In 12 seconds I will. I'm going to make sure that we reset that timer. Four, three. Should keep the nature tiara and the glory. And that'll give me 15 minutes at the gravestone. So now we're going to quickly run to a bank. Grab ourselves, not 10 stews. 
Don't want to drop that many items. Get under herbs. Got three orange spice. One super restore. I'll head back through the abyss. The idea being that I get the plus five boost, drop the inventory, and did this hyper intelligent thing of not boosting my stats ahead of time, but we're just gonna have faith. And if I fail to do it within 15 minutes, I'll just go get another loading bag and try again. So I was taking advantage of the smithing boost that I got out of trying to get the plus 5 for rune crafting. I managed to get 828 rune darts out of it. I really do need to get my smithing up. Here we go. Plus 4 rune crafting. No good. Plus five. And there we are! The Gromja Elite Diary all complete. Let's go claim our 50k lamp and get our clap clap gloves from Duradel. There we go. I'm going right to find Pirate Jackie the Fruit. It's been a long time since I've been here, ever since I got my graceful blue, but let's talk to him. Ahoy! The question about my achievement diary. And we are upgraded. Fantastic. So we can get noted bars from Metal Dragons, and I do do those tasks, but most importantly, with a small clap of our hands, we can go simp for Duradaddy. Also, 50k Herblore XP is nothing to sneeze at on Iron Man. It actually puts me in banked range for 88 Herblore. I think we go do that. I think we go do that. Just finished cleaning all the herbs. Let's teleport to the desert, get these made into potions, or rather unfinished potions. Well, that uh, goes 320k. Whatever. It's worth it far better than the time. So 145k XP and let's see. Shit. 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 So we're not getting that level today. Huh. Let's go find something else to do. A friend of mine was running by and happened to see a star, so Let's head there. Hopefully I'm the first one. Get that mining boost. Aww. Well, I'll be here for the next 20 minutes. Unfortunately, I was not first. With the Kromja Elite Diary done, uh, my focus is going back to Slayer. Slayer means clue scrolls, and clue scrolls means that I have to get that master clue done in my bank. For that, I need to mine Rune Ore while wearing full Prospector. So, that means that I am going to be here for a little while. I am currently 76. Wait a minute. 77. Mining. Three more to go, and then I will try to get that boost, and hopefully get the Wilderness Diary done as well. In reality, I wanted to do something more casual before I head to bed. I am heading to Ottawa early tomorrow. Happy Father's Day!